Nice. Okay, I get it. Time's up. All right. Um, oh, wait, my uh, streaming thing is breaking, and I'm clipping, and I don't know how to do the internet. Um, so I'm only on Twitch right now, not on YouTube. Boop. Hey, welcome to N-Zero SSC's Twitch, and also hi on Facebook. Um, I'm going to learn CW, if you haven't figured that out already. And I'm going to do it using Learn CW Online, which looks like this. Um... Why am I learning CW? Well, first of all, let's go to Reddit and see where I found this inspiration. What's it called? 90 Day CW Challenge. Well, I should learn how to use the internet. 90 Day CW Challenge. There. So, this guy, or girl, whoever it may be, said... For 10 minutes a day, for the next 90 days, we're going to learn CW. And I decided to keep myself accountable and to also, like, have fun with it. And to learn more streaming. Because I want to get the channel and stuff together better. And also kind of inject ham radio into Twitch. Which uh, very few people do. Freaking YouTube. Um, it'd be a good idea to do. So, yeah. Here we are. And to do that, we're going to use Learn CW Online, like he uh, mentions here. LCWL is Learn CW Online, and that is a place where you can go to learn. It it uh, it brings you the um, CW in a easy to digest uh, method called the Coke or Kosh or Cock or <laughs> whatever method. Uh, K zero K O C H. I think it's Coke. Um, using uh, Farnsworth timing, which is like large spaces of timing between each character. So you hear da 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 and then a pause, da 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 and then a pause, so that your brain has time to function. But you can learn it at the high speed of 20 words per minute or whatever. What you don't want to do is learn it at 5 words per minute at a very slow rate, but without that spacing, because then you're starting to count. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to count dits and da's individually, which is no, no bueno if you're trying to learn something that is basically a language. Um, so that's how we're going to do it. So you go here, you create an account. It's very straightforward. I'll log into mine, and you'll notice I've deleted all my previous attempts because I've been learning CW for ever. And hopefully I have audio. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm talking to myself, but I don't know. I don't even have a clue. And freaking Facebook or YouTube is like just hanging out, not getting my stream. I gotta tell people on YouTube, cause like, look at this. It's like not streaming, and my OBS studio is like not streaming. It's sending data. So obviously I don't know how to use computers and stream, so we're gonna learn. So sorry if you're on YouTube, but come over to Twitch. Let me uh, tell them. Hey y'all, I am streaming. How do you spell this? Illiterate. There you go. So leave leave YouTube, go to Twitch, which is apparently working. There you go. So nice. I can hear myself. Um, but. Um, and what we have one viewer sweet all right and on facebook chris barber thumbs up sweet all right now we're all here to learn morse code right let's do that for you know actually and i gotta keep my i'm gonna like kind of roll through my things to check chat and stuff every once in a while but this is just gonna be 10 minutes a day so it's not gonna be very long it's not gonna you're not gonna like um get really frustrated and that's my not really my problem i can do it for a long time but it's just like i don't do it consistently so hopefully having this daily thing every day 10 minutes is going to keep me consistent so let's do it uh how do we do it let's get an introduction and let's hear see if we can hear it so that's k let me see if that worked if you can hear it k sweet and then M. 
Cool. All right, I gotta change some things first. Uh, head account. No. Uh, um, the speed. Change the W settings. Duh. So I want to learn Morse code at 25 words per minute, but I want to be able to have an effective 10 words per minute spacing. So it's as if I'm listening to Morse code at 10 words per minute. That's the spacing between the letters, but the actual letters are 25 words per minute. So it's like da da da. Did it, did it, did it out, et cetera, et cetera. So like that. Um, but if I take this down to like five, submit. See, there's a lot more time in there. Let's do twenty and five. This is about where I would recommend anyone to start because you notice it's kind of hard to count dits and da's. I don't even know what's being said here, honestly. Uh, other things you can set, uh, player, prefixes, start delay, and then a group length of two to seven or two to seven random or a fixed number, which you set. And I've picked the random just to keep me on my toes. So back to the intro. It, the speed goes throughout the entire uh, website. And we start at lessons, and I need to go back to lesson number one because I'm cheating going ahead. So the duration, now somebody out there has probably done all the math and said, you need to do 15 minutes of three minute duration to really learn CW. But I'd, psh, psh. I want to have, let's say it's 10 minutes. So if I do two minutes, I get five sessions so hopefully by the fifth session i'll like have 90 percent of the uh, characters all figured out right so we'll do two minutes and then we can listen to each character again okay 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 hi sarah Hate that YouTube is not doing this because everyone's on YouTube. Oh, I got follows. And then M. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now that you've learned that. We're going to do this for two minutes. And what you're going to do, what I'm going to do, is as these characters progress, I'm going to type K, M, K, M, K. And then whenever there's a pause, the next, you know, like so. Space. Okay. Get behind already. Oh, crap. Oh, yeah. 
Jones. That was it. And now you notice like I was like, oh crap, because I was like looking at the screen, looking over there, and then I like lost the train of thought. And that happens a lot. And then you get behind, but the key is to like forget about what you missed, because this smartly figures out what you missed and haha, I missed none. Cause I've done this like thirty times before. <laughs> Stupid. Um But to forget what you just missed and go for the next whatever you hear, and then just start typing there. Refocus and, and finish. So when you're done, when you're done with each lesson, it'll say your accuracy is better than 90%. Now I'm about to stray. So the key is if you're better than 90%, 90% or better, uh, you can move on to the next lesson, even though you're like, oh, that was really hard. But it's like the key is to keep you always challenged and, and you, you might be aware of like gamification. Um, and not getting too bored with it, even though you're like trying to drill the old one. I think somebody told me once that you had a new character as soon as you're ready, so it keeps you on your toes. You got to really focus and listen, and you're not only practicing a new character, but it also repeats the old ones too. Uh, so let's continue training and go to lesson two, because why not? I really killed that one. So there's, it'll add a new character per lesson give or take I think it's one character per lesson so like there's a whole there's 26 lessons and then 10 numbers and then I think there's a bunch of characters so you is the new character da -da -da. Da -da -da. it's a good time for me to check my stuff Bill Carroll and Matt Wilhelm have joined a Facebook welcome and YouTube is still just not. I'm sure all the YouTube people have left. So, all right. Let's do lesson two. And I've already gone past 12, 10 minutes because I've been explaining CW, but I'll do five rounds and then I'll be done because I just realized how boring it is, how boring it must be for somebody to listen to this. But it's not for you, it's for me. And maybe also for you. And if we get a cadre of some, you know, people who are into this, and we all kind of like bounce back off of each other to like learn Morse code well, uh, off you know, socially, which is always better than doing it by yourself because you don't have any. When you're doing it by yourself, you're, it's all your own motivation and and that sort of thing. It's the internal thing, and and you can it'll be distracted by millions of things and you'll suddenly realize after five years hmm, I said I should go learn Morse code again or try to it's like man but if you have a group then it should be better so all right stop rambling two seconds and then I'm just going to go to the next one.
Oh man, I'm all messed up. No. Okay. Okay. M. Okay. M. M. Okay. You. M. Okay. M. Okay. 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 M. You. You. Okay. Okay. Uh, question mark. Okay, so I definitely messed up on that one. Uh, hi, Kyle. Let's figure it out what we did. All right. So I still did better than ninety percent. Um, but you'll notice, like here and here, I think here was where I was like, "Oh God, no!" And I just went to the next one. Like I, I forgot what it was. But it is pretty smart. Like it just notices the errors that are interspersed. Like I wrote M M U M, but it out was it was a K in there. But it's it'll it'll kind of give you a bone. Uh, RF Fox says, you net us a big issue with people learning Morse. If they make a mistake and miss a character, they're usually not able to recover quickly and you seem to be able to recover nicely. Yeah, so once we get, once I get to more characters, like maybe 10 characters, I act, that's when I'm going to like hit my wall and that's when I normally like stop and go do something else um, because I've been doing this for such a ridiculously long time. But that's the main source of frustration. And that's why you just keep drilling and drilling and drilling, but not too long. Like, you don't want to do more than 15 minutes um, a day. Um, and that was definitely the reason why I couldn't finish um, or I never really got proficient. Like, I know all the characters mostly, except for F and L and Y sometimes. Those four characters, four uh, F is did did da did, L is did da did, and Y is da da did da or did da did did. I can't remember, but like those are really hard. And when you have to quickly figure out the difference between E, S, uh, E, I, S, and H, and five, which are all one dit and then sequentially more dits. So E is dit, I is dit it, S is dit it, it H is dit it, 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 and then five is dit it, 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 it. Sorry. So to do those quickly, to, to determine the difference between a s and an h is like super hard for me at least so that's why we're here we're going to stick to it continue training i'm going to go on to the next lesson three r hey grandpa My uh, grandpa is listening in on Facebook. That's very cool. Um, so R, R is a very special character because it's, um, it means Roger. Like if you just say da da da, it, it means Roger. Um, also if you say K, it, it's like the end of a sentence. So you'll say N zero S S E D a A zero Z K and that K signifies okay it's your turn to talk um, and there's a lot of other prose signs I'll kind of like meander and talk about all right let's learn R oh crap that was an R in the first one
<laughs> oh man, I'm so screwed up. terrible it wasn't so bad like it was terrible to me because i've done this a bunch before and it's just like i know i can move on but like it's the it's the perfect like example of like oh no i messed up but i'm gonna forget the entire set of characters and go into the next one because like a key a pro tip coming from a complete amateur uh who doesn't even know morse code uh see a mega mega cadr i think you were the reddit user that actually posted this thing so Thanks for hanging around. Um, the, anyway, the, well, now I lost my train of thought because I got distracted, which is what exactly happens when you learn Morse code. <laughs> uh, so why not go into lesson four? We'll call that done. And it's E. my comments <laughs> Matt you got it all right so pro what was that? yeah I, I forgot so adding e this might seem this might get hard all right hang on stop I gotta adjust raise my chair a little bit There we go. I'm also going to turn down the Morse audio. So I'm not blowing y'all's ears out. Okay. Let's go back and start. Damn it. couple errors still and uh, I'm still better than 90 percent <laughs> I'm not actually trying to sabotage or anything this is like me really trying to do it but as soon as I lose train of thought poof you lose a character so it's been about 30 minutes and we've learned some Morse code I think that's uh, gonna call it a night so 
Hopefully you 11 or so people enjoyed it, and I'll see you tomorrow at 7 p.m. 73, dit dit.